in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Grand Theft Auto 5 system error the code execution cannot process because .dll was not found. So there can be many reasons why it's not launching on your computer, but by following the methods in this video, with a bit of luck, we can get to the bottom of it and fix the error. But before we get started, we have almost hit 45,000 subscribers and it'd be absolutely fantastic if you could help us get to 50,000. So the first thing we need to do is right click on the Windows Start menu icon. You now need to click on Settings and you now need to click on Updates and Security and we now need to click on Check for Updates. If your system does detect new updates, go ahead and install those Windows updates and restart your PC and then see if you can now launch Grand Theft Auto 5. If you still cannot launch the game, then the next thing you need to do is click on the first link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and select your language and you then need to click on download. You now need to go save file and run the setup file. And we now need to go accept if you do agree to the terms and then go next. If you want to install Bing, keep this ticked or just deselect it and then press next. It will now see if we have the latest DirectX installed on our computer. If it does detect a new version, it will then install it. But as you can see, I do have the latest DirectX installed on my computer. If it did install a newer version on yours, go ahead and press finish, restart your machine and then try and launch Grand Theft Auto. If you're still unable to launch Grand Theft Auto, then the next thing you need to do is click on the second link that's in the description below. You now need to scroll down to Visual Studio 2015, 2017 and 2019. You now need to select your version of Windows 10. So if you have a 64-bit version, click on 64. If you have a 32-bit version, click on x86. I'm now going to go ahead and click on 64. And you then need to go save file. If you don't know how to check what version of Windows 10 you have, I will put a link in the description below to a video I did showing you how to check what version of Windows 10 you have installed. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do, click I agree and then go ahead and press install. Once Visual C++ has finished installing, go ahead and click restart. And once you have restarted your computer, see if you can now launch Grand Theft Auto 5. And with a bit of luck, you should now be able to launch the program. If you're still unable to launch Grand Theft Auto 5, then the only other thing now to do is reinstall the game. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this tutorial did help you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.